I want to tell you a, a story. It's about when I first took my driving test. Uh, I failed on, on two things. The first thing I failed on, right at the end of the test, I was feeling relaxed, we were getting back to the driving test centre, the last road, I sped up a bit too fast. And I lost a point to that. But the other thing I failed on, I made a real hash of reverse parking. It, it was rather awkward. They, they made me do it on a bit of a slope. I just couldn't do it, in and out, in and just couldn't get it right. I made a mess of it. I failed on that. And, 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 and the driving test said, yeah, you failed. I said, yes, I know. I'm an examiner. I failed my own students. You're right to fail me on that now. The point is, uh, my, my driving instructor, when I told him I'd failed on that, do you know what he did? He took me to precisely that same place where I'd messed up that reverse test parking and he said, do it again. And he made me do it again and again until I got it right. And we did reverse parking in various situations in various places till I got it right. Okay, now what's, what's the relevance of this to you taking ADSUF? The thing is, you've got to practice to get it right. If you make a mistake, if there's something that you do you don't understand it, if there's a question, a coding question, you don't understand how to write the code, uh, you get it wrong in the test or, or the first time you take the exam, how are you going to get it right? Practice, practice, practice until you get it right. Just as I did with my driving test, my driving test said, you've got to practice this until you get it right. The questions in this are fairly straightforward. In each test and exam, they're not that different from what you've seen previously, but you're not going to be able to do them if the first time you've ever done a question of that sort is in the actual exam. Just as when I did my driving test, I wasn't going to pass it if I never sat in the car, went straight into the car and then tried driving it um, first time on the test. Of course, I would have failed on so many more than two points. So I just want to get across this message. Practice, practice, practice. It's a way to learn this material. If you get it wrong, practice until you get it right. The nice thing about computer programming is the computer can be your teacher. You can write code and run it, and if it doesn't work, you, it won't work. You can correct it until it works. Get the computer to test your code. That's well, the real way to learn. Not just by reading notes. Reading notes is good because it will tell you where to practice, what to look at, but you need to combine reading notes with practice coding. When you've done some practice, go back to the notes. The notes will seem much more clear because the things which seem quite complicated in theory, when you've experienced in practice, when you've written some code which demonstrates them, suddenly make sense. Do get this message. It's very important. A lot of students, unfortunately, have this so revision concept in their head. We've got to memorise this stuff. We've got to read through the notes continuously for hours and hours until it sinks in. It doesn't. It didn't sink in with me when I first learnt object-oriented programming. It didn't make any sense to me. The only way I got to understand and realise how it all fits together is to write lots and lots of code. Get it all running. Keep doing it until I had a real feel for it. I knew how it would. And then when I went back to those things that didn't make sense when I first read about them, they made sense. They worked. That's how you should be doing it. Okay, so what you will see for each of these five questions, you will see a first video clip is me attempting to answer each of a question, and I'll go through each of them. And after that, it's my second thoughts on my video, having come back, taken some time off after a few days and looked at it again. So in some cases, I've picked up errors that I've made. In other cases, I'm, I'm making some additional comments which sort of follow from what's in the, the question, my initial video, where I'm picking up on things which I think that's a common mistake which students make. Maybe I didn't make a mistake, or I nearly made a mistake, and I think it's important to point this out to misunderstand. So I've done the initial videos, and then I've come back some days later and done some follow-up videos to give us a complete coverage of um, tips on this particular exam questions. These are sort of five exam questions which are, cover a crucial topic of, first of all, linked lists, and then of the idea of a data structure, in this case a linked list, inside an object representing an abstract data type, in this type uh, an array or, or a list. So I hope that these videos will be of, of help to you to, to get to see the best approach to these exams and also to see how I myself would approach it if I were in your boots as a student.